freedom comes from reflection and I go by the name of Brother Reflection and today's conversation is about looking at the world with the eyes of the universe. It's very easy as we get older to develop hate, bitterness, resentment but these things will not serve us on the road to abundance and success. These things will only be a hindrance for us. I've learned a long time ago to look at the world through the eyes of the universe. When you meet someone you don't like, you have to ask yourself, at a point in time, did I display this type of behavior? If the answer is yes to that question, then that's called karma. If the answer is no, you have to ask yourself, what is it I'm trying to learn from this? Also, if you meet someone that you like, this there is a blessing. Because this there, this means that you're in alignment with what needs to be done and the universe is rewarding you and trying to elevate you and drive you forward. So... The overall principle is to walk through this earth without hating anyone. And when I say not hating anyone, I'm not saying be a pushover and let people take the piss out of you. I'm not saying that. But if people do display bad vibes, of course, apply distance. But just say to yourself, at a point in time, I behaved just like them. And this is karma. And maybe this is why I was met with so much resistance. So maybe if I learn to treat others better, this veil of pain will be lifted from me. But if I don't, and I refuse to humble myself and be accountable, I'm going to keep seeing the same reality. Whether I be 30, 40, 50, 60, whatever, the shit won't stop. But when you humble yourself and learn from your errors, you're going to be free. So don't go through life hating people. Just don't. Because when you hate someone, you know, you're making them rent space within your mind. And they're gonna influence everything you do and say and behave. And unfortunately that can that can be to your demise. So don't harbour hatred on others. You know, some people are crap. It is what it is. But you have to try and understand why these people are put in your life. It's either, to, it's either to bless you or to teach you. But either way, it's a blessing. <laughs> um, so yeah, don't harbour don't harbor hatred. Just don't harbour hatred. Because I was once a person who used to harbour hatred. And you know, I just sat down for a minute and said to myself, why do I harbour so much hatred towards others? Do I hate them or do I hate myself? And unfortunately, the answer was, I, I hate my past self. You know, I hated the fact that, you know, we all fall short and mistreat people. But when I was able to be accountable for that and, you know, repent to my higher self, I was lifted and freed from, from that mental bondage. So hatred is pointless. The more you hate someone, the more you're going to attract that into your life. What you hate and what you run from will end up in front of you. So... <laughs> Hatred in the in the grand scheme of things is pointless because you're just making something you dislike come and look for you. So don't move with hatred. Move with a light heart. Have principle, have character. Disown people who disrespect you, of course. But don't hate them. Don't go online bitching, crying and saying this person is this, this person is that. When you saw the red flags, you know, when you had the same energy at a point in time because if you didn't you wouldn't have been in alignment of that so hatred is pointless yeah look at the world through the eyes of the universe just look at it through that way because that way you can look at someone and say wow this is how i used to behave now i can see why people didn't like me maybe the fact that people didn't like me was a sign for me to change Oh, this person's really genuine. This person's really nice. They're helping others. I can be like that. 
This means that I'm in alignment of where I need to be and I'm on the path to abundance. Or if you meet people that are sometimes nice and sometimes evil, sometimes loving, sometimes cold, you could just say, I can be like that. Maybe it's time I change my ways because it's very easy to point the, point the fault at someone else. But it's twice as hard to point that same light to ourselves and keep that same blood clot energy. A lot of people don't want to do that. They want to blame someone else for everything. But really, you should blame yourself. And when you walk through this life with a light heart, your path will be full of light. Your path will be full of abundance. Yeah, you'll still face struggles. You'll still face lessons and setbacks. But you'll be elevated from them a lot faster. Opposed to being that person to walk around this earth with hatred. You know, the universe is constantly listening to us. When we wake up out of bed or walk on the ground, the universe is saying to us, how can I serve you today? That's what it's saying to you. And if you're waking up and you're angry and you're watching toxic content and you're bitter and you're swearing, well, then what else do you expect to happen? It can only give you what you are. Look at it this way. You can't plant, you know, seeds for corn and expect strawberries because it just doesn't work that way. You only can be given what it is you've asked for and what you are. So when you're bitter when you're bitter and angry, you're asking for pain, you're begging for pain, you're begging for struggle, and that's what will be given to you. That's your present. So look at the world through the eyes of the universe. As it stands for me, I have no hatred towards anyone. I love everyone as if they were me. Because I can look at things and say, this is something, it's a learning curve for me. This is something that's a blessing for me. And with that, I'm able to manoeuvre at peace and live from that higher self, from that abundance mindset. And with that, you know, we gain keys to freedom. And that's all we really want in life, you know. Money, cars, exotic holidays, all the other things that we strive for. This is all we're doing is trying to ask for it to give us a level of freedom. That's all we are. We're freedom searchers. But our thoughts, our actions, and what we consume put us in the pain aspect. But I'll tell you this for free. You can't get freedom without pain. If you think that you're just going to follow everything and be, you know, a good little scout, you won't get freedom because in order to get freedom, you have to face pain. Pain is inevitable. But, yeah. Look at the world through the eyes of the universe. And stop looking at others with hatred. Stop saying this person this and this person that without looking at yourself. Nine times out of ten, we're the problem. Yeah, if they, you know, one, one time out of ten, you know, you can have some bad luck. You know, bad, bad luck will fall upon you, whatever. You're not immune to anything. But nine times out of ten, we're the problem. So point the light at yourself and say, you know what? That was the issue. Where do I need to work on? Where have I got to tighten up on? Because if you don't, you will never be free. You could have money, cars, exotic holidays, but you wouldn't be free. Money doesn't always just equate, these material things don't always equate to freedom straight away. They're a byproduct of it, but there's no point in obtaining things of great value if your mind is not free. Because these things will just push you towards your shortcomings. Yeah. So, you know, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed content like this, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe. And let me know what I should speak about next. But as always, you know, freedom comes from reflection. And I go by the name of Brother Reflection.